Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Fitzy. Today's video is chapter 13, video 3, the admission of a new partner. So a new partner wants to join the partnership. So there's two different ways a partner can join a partnership. The admission of a new partner results in the legal dissolution of the existing partnership and the beginning of a new partnership. So remember what the characteristics of a partnership is limited life. So that's one of the examples here of what, what that is. So to recognize the economic effects of adding a partner, it is necessary only to open a capital account for each new partner. A new partner may be added either by one, purchasing an interest of one or more of the existing partners, or two, investing assets in the partnership. So in example number one, we're gonna spend some time on first. When they purchase an interest of one or more existing partners, ignore my dog and his squeaky toy here. Um, in this case, the new partner is gonna buy part of one of the existing partner's capital and he's going to give money to that partner and that money is going to stay in that partner's pocket. It does not go into the partnership. So we're just going to divide up the capital account of the partner of whom he's buying the interest of. Okay, so everyone should have uh, a worksheet. So you should have a worksheet with this video and I'm going to get you to open it up now or hopefully have it with you and you can go work through this example with me. Okay, so assume on November 1st, Alla agrees to pay $20,000 each. Now she's going to give money to a Aditya and Ziad, who are the two current partners. So right now we have Aditya and Ziad, who are partners in the partnership. And Alla out here wants to join. So she's going to give $20,000 to Ziad and Aditya for one-third of their interest in the Zaditya partnership. At the time, each partner has a $40,000 capital balance. Okay, so they each have, he has 40, and he has 40, and she's going to get a third of each of theirs. And the money that she gives does not enter the partnership. So how are we going to handle the situation? So both partners are going to give up one-third of their 40, which equals $13,333. And we need to do a journal entry at the time of this transaction. So what it's going to look like here is Aditya is going to debit his capital and Ziad will debit his capital by that 13,333 each and Alla's going to get 26,666. We're going to credit her. So that's the journal entry. Even though she's given each of them $20,000 the partnership cash is not going up. You're going to see that in example two. So we had Aditya, we have Ziad, and we have Alla. At the beginning, oops, I spelled Alla wrong. At the beginning, Aditya and Ziad both had $40,000 in their capital account, and Alla had zero because she wasn't even a partner yet. She's given them money, but that stays in their own personal assets. And now we're going to debit a DTS here by 13. And we're going to debit Ziad's. And we're going to credit Alice, this 26,666. And we're going to get these balances. So Alice's credit balance in her capital is 26,666. Ziad now has a 26,666. And Aditya has the same. They all, in this particular example, have the same capital balances. It's just the way it worked out. And therefore, they each have a third of this partnership. So that's example one. Just remember, when they purchase an interest, that's the key words here, purchase an interest in the partnership, they're just buying a capital, a balance, basically is what they're doing. And the money they give for that does not go into the partnership.